Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We've got the second Jumbo Tournament of the Year. This was March 24th, the day after the English Choice event on Smith Mountain where I blew my lower unit. So I believe that I forgot to do a recap on cost after that event. And that one was a little bit expensive. We paid for housing, gas, we practiced for a day. And I got like $100 worth of tackle or something like that. So that brought us to negative 731.37, which brings us into this tournament, the fourth tournament of the year, second Jumbo tournament of the year, and only a $45 entry. You'll have to wait till the end to see if we made any money, but let's go. Oh, what do you think? 28, 29 pounds today, Ace? 32. 32? I don't care what people are saying. People are still going to catch them. Just give me my spinner bait. Let's get him. Water temp is 48.9. Starting the day throwing a little spinner bait. Ace is up trying to scope him on the with a jerk bait. We go home catch him. We got him! I did not know that was a fish right there. <laughs> what happened? I thought it was grass right here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Is that on a drop shot? <laughs> I've been avoiding the drop shot all day. <laughs> that might be what we gotta do. Yeah, we got it. Scale up for me. Nice, dude. Was it just sitting there for a while? Yeah, didn't even move. I was like, oh, that's grass. I was like, wait, it's coming to the boat. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Good stuff. What's that? I thought I saw some bigger fish floating around on top of it all, but not really. Oh, okay, I see him now. I mean, the amount of bait is stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, we heard it that time. Hey. <laughs> oh, dude, you almost look like a smallmouth. Pick yours up and start. Hang on, let me pop it out. I'll just give you this rod. Because I'll, I'll take care of this fish real quick. Your A rig. I was going to say, that A rig probably worked great. Dude, he wasn't even hooked. Seriously? The hook went through his gill, like his gill plate. It was just hanging on. Made a little run up lake a little bit to try to find some different water. Uh, found like a ridiculous amount of bait. Saw this guy cruising on top of him. Enjoy your stay in the ice palace. Number two. Look at the Mickey fish. We only got two, and it's 12. Oh, we got three. I forgot. Don't we? Yeah, we. Uh, no, we only got two. How many do we have? Do we have three? No, we have two. The third mark is right there. On the glide, baby. That is a tank, dude. Ace, this fish looks like it ate a softball. Get here. Let's go. 10 inch glide. Okay, 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 relax. Swim. 
Wait. All right, fish number three, 130. Picked up the glide on this windy bank. Fish came up and grabbed it. And I was paying no attention. Hook check, good. Let's go. Champagne bone. That's what they call this one. It's like five something. Five and a half. Love it. I got another white one if you want. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption, but it's time for the Boat of the Week, sponsored by my friends over at Angler's Choice. This week we're taking a look at a 2023 Ranger Z521R. So this 521R is 21 foot 9 inches. It's powered by our Mercury 250 horsepower Pro XS. Up front for your trolling motor, you've got a 112 pound thrust Minn Kota Ultrax. And as far as electronics go for this boat, it comes with a Humminbird Solix 15 at the console and you have a Humminbird Solix 12 at the bow, and this also comes with Mega Live. You've got the awesome Ranger layout. This boat is actually a dual console as well, which some of you will love. If you guys have any interest in this Ranger Z521, please click that link down in the description below. You can check it out over at Angler's Choice Marine. So this Ranger 521 is actually a consignment boat with Angler's Choice, and that's something I wanted to talk about really quickly. They have a phenomenal consignment program. It's super easy, it's hassle-free. All you have to do is take your boat into one of the three English Choice locations, tell them what you'd like to get for the boat, and they'll handle everything from financing that boat to a potential buyer, to taking care of all the titling and registration. It's hands-free. You can get all that done without lifting a finger. So if you're looking at selling a current boat, I'll leave a link for the consignment program down in the description below as well. Huge thanks to my friends over at English Choice for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. Come on. That's a big one. Oh, that was a big one, dude. That was like a real big one. He like rolled on it and his whole body came out of the water. Heart's racing. Got him? What's that? Gotcha! First glide bait fish. First glide fish, right, baby! Give it a Good stuff, buddy. Smoke it? Yeah. Hell yeah. How big is he? Three? He's three. Maybe. Bet you he's three pounds. Good stuff, boogie. Was he deep or higher up? Okay. So I ran into the tree. Oh, I gotcha. Nice. Three, six, one. Is that number four? Yeah. Right. Two more. So he's on there is number three, so. Cool. First glide fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did you watch him eat it or did, were you just working it back? No, I was watching the screen. Yeah. And then I did something, I looked away and then. <laughs> did you, did you just, feel it or did you like. No, I felt it. Yeah. Actually. Did it give you that same bite? The same bite as the, the last one? Nice. Let's just catch two more on this bank real quick. It's the shad. Yeah. That's that was like a probably what four or five inch shad. It's a good sign. If I don't get stuck on the tree. I did it. Donkey. Yeah. Oh my god, one just ate it, dude. I swear to God, one just ate it, sitting on the branch. He's not on it, but I swear one did. That's insane. Did you see my rod? No. He like flashed and everything. 
on this little stick. Oh! That's all right. It wasn't that big. Dang. How big? Huh? How big you think he was? Three. Got it. Dang. Was uh, what did you do? Just let it sink? Oh, just let it sink. Yeah. Three forty-one. Twenty minutes. That's a wrap. Well, that was a really tough event for us. We couldn't get anything going early on, and then later on in the afternoon, we started getting on a really solid glide bite, but just could not connect with all the bites that we were getting. I had one really big fish roll over the glide bait, just completely missed it. I had another one which wasn't in the video eat it at the boat and broke my glide off, sent it soaring through the air. Ace had missed like a couple other bites where he hooked up and then they popped off. And yeah, like it was good that we were able to figure something out, but we only finished up with four fish and that gave us 14 and a half pounds for the day or something like that. Another huge bag won it. It was 35 and a quarter, almost broke the club record. Two consecutive tournaments in a row. That was uh, Roop and Roop. Such a sick bag. I mean, the first two tournaments took 35 plus pounds to win and we just never got on any big fish like that. But had a good time out there. Always fun catching some glide fish and I hope you guys are looking forward to the next Jumbo tournament. So the overall tournament standings money-wise for us, we are now negative 776.37. That's after two big boat tournaments and two Jumbo tournaments. Leave a thumbs up for me. We need to get that number going the opposite way. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you on the next one.